legacy ultra wide field fundus imaging platforms have taught us a great deal about the importance of imaging in the far periphery, but has had limitations in color, resolution, and patient comfort. As you know, Zeiss has been delivering superior optics for all walks of life for more than 170 plus years. Zeiss image quality was simply something we were not willing to compromise, so this was the challenge we put forward to our engineering team. Maintain Zeiss color, clarity, while driving the image field of view as wide as possible. It is my great pleasure to introduce to you the results of this challenge, the Claris 500, the next generation in ultra-wide field imaging from Zeiss. Claris 500 was launched in September of 2017 as a key component to the Zeiss Retinal Imaging Suite and the integrated diagnostic imaging solutions. There are three feature concepts we kept at the forefront of our development effort, color, clarity, and comfort. We used the full visible spectrum to capture a true color image, cycling three broad spectrum LED lights in less than two tenths of a second. The resulting image has been optimized to closely resemble the natural coloration of the fundus as it appears through direct observation. The resolution of this next generation ultra wide field system matches or exceeds traditional fundus photography, an amazing leap forward in wide field fundus imaging. Zeiss ultra wide field system has been designed with the comfort of the patient and the operator in mind. We've surveyed many patients, technicians, and doctors to refine and optimize our interfaces on both sides of the instrument. I'm Angie Covita and I am one of the clinical partners for the ultra wide field Claris instrument at Carl Zeiss Meditech and I would like to demonstrate the use of this technology. Um, aligning the patient is very very simple for the operator. The patient will first place their chin on the chin rest and forehead all the way up against the bar um, and the operator just move, needs to move the table up or down and adjust the chin rest as needed using the barrel on this side. And from there, the operator does all of the work. The um, acquisition head is very easy to um, push forward and pull back. Um, and the acquisition head is also uh, adjustable here if needed for patient comfort. So we are going to add a new patient before we acquire an image. Everything highlighted in the pink orange color is required to capture an image. Now we're going to hit the acquire button to start our new session. And I want to do an ultra wide field color in the right eye. So first, before I um, capture an image, I'd want the patient to place their chin on the chin rest and bring her, their forehead all the way up against the forehead rest. And if their chin is too high or too low, I can raise or lower the chin rest using the barrel here. And our goal is to align the eyes to the canthus marks on the side of the device here. Now that that's aligned, oh, we also want to make sure that the table is adjusted to the patient's comfort. You could raise the table up and down to the most comfortable position for the patient. Now we are going to look at the IR preview and the fixation target should be on the nasal side. So in the right eye, that should be the, their uh, left side. And on the left side, on the um, operator's arm or shoulder. So you want to tell the patient where to gaze. And once they see the fixation target, the optic nerve moves to the uh, left side of the screen. And now you want the patient to blink and open as wide as they can. And you use the button to capture an image and the flash will appear and the patient can close their eyes. While we wait for the pupil to recover, we can review the image and double check if we want to retake the image or not, but it looks good in this case. So now the fixation target will move to the temporal side, which is to the patient's right on the right eye. And you're going to drive the camera using the IR preview again. And the optic nerve head should have moved to the opposite side. So now it's on the right side of the screen. You're gonna have the patient open their eyes as wide as they can. Now we're gonna capture an image and the patient sees the flash and they can close their eyes right after. 
Now the patient can sit back while the operator reviews the image. Um, so here we have a true color image and it is a 200 degree ultra wide field pair. Um, you can zoom into the image to look at the optic nerve in the macula or any other features on the retina. You do also do have the option to uh, split the channels into red, green, and blue. We have multiple imaging modalities. Um, we have an FAF green, FAF blue, you have the um, wide field stereo option as well as the external imaging option. And if the patient is dilated or not dilated, and you have the option to use the internal fixation or the external fixation. And you also have a DICOM option to export your images into an EMR. functionality of traditional fundus imaging and the power of imaging in the far periphery, the Claris 500 is a complete solution for all your fundus imaging needs.